Hello, and welcome back for part 8 of this series on creating games using Construct 2. In part 7 in our game, we added a turret object with a turret behavior, so it added some complexity to our game. We have that turret shooting a bullet at us every second, so we have to not only land on the platforms and then collect the gold uh, squares, we have to also dodge the bullets or else we lose the game. So in this, in this video, we're going to work on adding a timer. And let me go over to my game. So adding a timer is going to be very similar to how we did the um, adding the score. So we're going to need a text on the layout to display the timer, the time. And then we will also need a uh, need to add the logic in the event sheet to count down the timer and then check to see if our timer gets down to zero. So let's start by adding a sprite or adding a, not a sprite, a text object to our game. So let's double click here. And then text is uh, right over from sprite, so text, and I'll call it timer, text, and insert. And then I'm gonna put it at the top left to kind of counterpart the score in the top right, make it a little bigger, and come in and set the font size to 72, what did I use for the Let's see, score was 36. Let me set it to 36. There we go. And then I will center it vertically and horizontally. I want to make it a little smaller. And so to start off with, we want it to say, let's say we're going to do a 10 second timer. So we can say time colon space 10. So that'll uh, show time 10 on the start of the layout and now we need to go to our event sheet to add our logic there so just like we had the global variable for score we're gonna add a global variable for timer so anywhere on the white space down at the bottom you can right click and add global variable we'll call it timer again it's gonna be a number and its initial value we said is gonna start at 10 not at uh, not at 0 and then the description uh, just keeps the time for our game. If I scroll back up to the top, now we see we have two global variables, one for the timer, one for the score. And on the start of the layout, we can we can set that text to display our time. So if we didn't write time 10 in the hard-coded text property on the left, we could do that in the event sheet as well. So let's go ahead and do that. So add action and then timer text and set text and we'll set it to again the message is going to be time colon space and then we want to add on the value of the timer variable uh, by using the ampersand sign so I'll do done there and then we want to subtract one from the timer every second right so for the score we used every 0 0.5 seconds now we're gonna add one for every second so it's add event and system and every x seconds and then we'll leave it at one because that's what we want and then in our action we are going to subtract one from our timer var variable so we we did an add to for our score above and now we can do a subtract from so add action and then system and subtract from and we want to subtract from not our score variable but our timer variable and we want to subtract one and now each time we do that we need to re-update the text block the text object on the layout so let's add another action and go into timer text and set text and just like we did before we'll say timer colon zero or timer colon space ampersand sign and then the timer variable All right, so let's take a look at what that looks like. Let's go ahead and run the game. And let me refresh it. I don't think it caught that latest change. All right, so timer's 10, 9, 8. And if I can survive for 10 seconds, we'll see it will just continue to kind of go down and actually become negative if you saw that really quickly. So we have to, we have to tell it when to stop. We have to handle when it's zero and say that we lose the game or the game ends. So we can compare 
that global variable. Uh, so let's add an event and go system and compare variable. And so if our timer equals zero, and let's just say if it gets less than or equal to zero and done, then we want to, just like we did previously, and I'll actually just copy and paste this, we want to just restart our layout. So we've done that several times um, on the collision with the on the collision with the bullet here, if our player gets beneath the layout, if his y, y variable is greater than layout height. And so I'm going to take one of those and just control C and come down to the timer event and control V. So let's run it one more time and see if I can survive for 10 seconds. Nope, not that time. All right, we're getting close to one zero. No, oh, let me refresh this again. And now let's see if it's working. All right, so you saw when I got down to zero, it restarted um, back to ten, which is what we wanted. All right, so that is that's how to set up a timer. And stay tuned for the next part.